what is going on guys my name is george and welcome to officially the start of fifa 14 what an exciting day and we are back at it again and this time it's going to be career mode not with Tottenham hotspur not with southampton fc but with napoli from uh from the Serie A, uh, as you guys as one of you guys uh, suggested in the comments i don't receive you know too many responses but thank you guys for you know for the people that uh did uh comments on what team i should use for career mode and uh one of you guys said southampton and napoli and another one of you wanted Tottenham again uh but you know Tottenham Hotspur, you know they're a really good team and i did thought about it but you know i kind of want to you know make a change in in the you know in a different league and obviously in a uh, different team so i went for napoli and they are just an amazing team because they have uh they're they're not like you know amazing in well i kind of contradict myself there right um i mean they are good uh but they're not like crazy good so you know there's gonna be uh we're gonna be able to you know get some good get some players to improve the squad so you know it's it's kind of like it, if you have manchester city then it's kind of um, you know it takes the fun out of you know like buying players and stuff because they already have a, an amazing team with a bunch of like good players and stuff like that you know like aguero david silva Torre, and all those so it kind of takes you know the fun out of going out and getting players and now with the new transfer net network thing um that i'll show you guys right now you know it's it's kind of more exciting to go for players and it actually makes it a little bit harder uh in a, in a sense to uh to get what's to get some players and to to actually know their stats and all that so we start out a career mode with napoli and uh you know the layout and everything you know it just feels really good and you know I, it took me a little bit just a little bit to get used to it you know because it's it's obviously way different than uh, than the previous fifas and you know fifa 13 and fifa 12 fifa 11 it kind of looked the same but now everything changed so uh it took me a little bit uh you know to just get used to where everything is but uh not uh, you know everything is uh pretty good and fluent and more smooth uh so this is the team right here and as I, as i look at it you know it's a really great team but like i said there's a lot uh places where we can improve um and one one that i was thinking was uh the right attack in mid who is pandev i'm not you know he doesn't look like the best player you know doesn't look like a player that i would want in the squad um, even though he's rated, he's an 80 rated player, pretty good stats, but, um, I don't think I want to have him in the squad. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking of someone, I was thinking of someone else to fit that, uh, attacking position and that was Santi Casorla, but, uh, but I'll talk about, about him, uh, later on. And, uh, so we're looking at the squad more and I think I'm going to leave that formation right there. You know, the default four, two, three, one, it's kind of the formation that a lot of people have been, uh, used uh and you know i'm not i'm not trying to go with the flow with you know with every, everyone else sorry uh but um, you know it's i do like that formation it's one of the best formations actually because it's just really really balanced you know you got your two center defensive mids and you know your attacking mids and and your striker so it's just really balanced and i really like that formation but i'm not gonna talk too much into that and so so now I'm looking at uh, selling uh, some players and actually look at the list of loaned out players. Are you serious? When I saw this, you know, because when I looked at the squad, at the, you know, first in kickoff to see what players they had, um, you know, I thought that it was like a really short squad. And I didn't know why, because most most squads have a lot of players. And then I go into this and there is a bunch of loaned out players. And uh, but we actually uh, have Reina, our goalkeeper, you know, that played for Liverpool. He's actually a loanee, so we don't actually have him. And uh, I think he still belongs to uh, Liverpool, which is uh, weird because I thought, uh, you know, Napoli had bought him, you know, but apparently they did not. So, you know, that's, I guess, the only player that we have uh, as a loanee, but the other players are loaned out. And so. Um, basically, if I got rid of a player, I had to bring in another one. So I put a Pandev for trans uh, in the transfer market, and so I went for Santi Casorla. Like I said, uh, you know this guy is just so good. I mean, he has one of the best free kicks in FIFA. In FIFA 13, his free kicks were like nine out of ten times. You take a free kick with this guy, you would score it. You know, if you ha if you were in the right you know place, he was. And, you know, his passes and everything. In Ultimate Team, he was basically my favorite center attacking mid. Like, in any team that I uh, used um, with him, he would just perform, like, really good. Just brilliant, brilliant um, 
just just brilliant performances by him and so you know i had to uh, make an offer and uh then this is the actual transfer network uh whatever market however you want to call it global transfer network that's how it says right there and so this is the where you can actually send your scouts much like fifa 13 actually in fifa 12 and even before you know where you could just send a scout to get players but this is a little bit different and in the sense that you can actually look at different attributes and uh, some of the players that are kind of well known, like let's say Al Shrawi, um, those players are actually, you know, if you're trying to look up his stats, and you know, if you just go look, you know, in the in the buy, just buy in the buy players uh, section, you know, the normal section, they actually won't tell you his stats, which was kind of surprising to me. And so you actually have to uh, scout them a little bit more to get, uh, you know, to see what their stats are and even the rating and the price. Uh, for some players like Santi Casola, obviously they are already, they are already well known. They're you know they're you know they're pretty they're not old, but you know they are experienced. I guess Santi Casola is 28 years old. So those players you don't you don't have to scout them obviously, but for the younger players you do. And so you know that was uh, surprising, like I said to me, because you know I thought they would just give me the rating and everything, but they it doesn't for players that are young, like Al Sharawi and maybe Neymar maybe, but. You know those type of players that are just just young uh so now we are going to accept an offer for pan dev and uh santi casola did not accept the first offer so i had to so i had to uh give him more money the salary uh two years of contract and uh the club accepted it so you know that was the easy part arsenal but uh santi casola did not so you know i need i wanted to get him and i was determined to get him but uh, I don't know if he was going to accept. So we're going to go into our first match. And that was going to be against Norwich City from the Premier League. And um, so the settings, five minutes each match, uh, you know, like last time, the world class. So, you know, that's, that's just, that is how it's going to go uh, for the rest of the season. Unless, you know, there might be a change. You know, you can always change the difficulty. So, you know, I might think of uh, changing the difficulty. Uh, you know, it can only go up, can't go down. So, you know, maybe if, it, if I get to a final, I'll, I'll move up the difficulty to make it harder. I don't know, but we'll see about that. But we're playing against Norwich City, and uh, this was, uh, you know, this was our first ever match here in career mode with, in FIFA 14, actually, and with Napoli. And so I wanted to play this match, even though it was just a friendly. And we're going to get the first goal with Suniga. This guy is actually a left back in this game. But, well, like in, in how in the squad here with Napoli, the default squad, he's actually, um, you know, he was actually, he was put as a left uh, left back. But he, you know, in FIFA 13, he was actually a left mid. So I don't know what the deal was with that. But he did, uh, he didn't seem to perform that bad in, you know, defending and stuff like that. And he was obviously really good at attacking. And so I'm going to leave him there and see how it goes. But I'm still going to, probably going to try to get a, a left back. Uh, you know, but we'll see about that. So he gets a really nice goal and we go all the way to the 71st minute into the second half and Pandev is actually going to score the second goal and you know, it's kind of funny because I actually already, you know, accepted an offer for Manchester City to sell him and you know, it was just my fault at the beginning, you know, well, when I was choosing the squad, I actually didn't take him out of the squad. So, you know, he stayed obviously and uh, he actually ends up scoring a goal, but still, Panda, you know, he didn't still perform that good in this match. And I don't think, you know, I want him in the squad. I need someone act just better and just, you know, just someone that's really good. At just a little bit more pace, too, actually, you know, because he has really low p pace. And that hurts a lot when you uh, when you have players up there attacking. So this is uh, one of the scout reports that I get back because I was trying to look for a right back. And... Um, so I got these three players from Belgium, and Belgium just has a lot of good young players right now, and and so we got three players right there. Uh, so Santi Gazzola does not want to join the club. Like literally, he just doesn't want to join the club. Uh, he declined my second offer. So this is where I'm gonna need the help of you guys. I really want to you know sign him as he saw right there, but uh, you know I can't offer him any more money. though. Know? that would be just way too much, and you know I think he won't come come anyways to the club. And so I want you guys to pick a center attacking mid, a or left mid or right mid, or left wing or right wing. You know someone that is just an attacking midfielder, 
you know that you know like like I said left mid right mid right wing or left wing and you know um, preferably uh, s- center attacking mid and so right here I was looking at Kevin De Bruyne for Chelsea but I didn't I didn't know if he um, if he could actually come to the club because I think he recently joined but it didn't tell me right here because look at that I have to scout him just like you know like I said but that's gonna be the end of this episode guys uh, hopefully you liked that this was the first first ever uh episode here in career mode um fifa 14 with napoli hopefully you guys can show some love to that like button and uh tomorrow i'll probably have the uh i'll probably have the series of uh ultimate team so yeah i'm gonna be starting that it's gonna be a kind of a road or race however you want to call it uh race to division uh one road to division one you know um but yeah we're gonna try to get to division one and along the way you know building some really good squads and just you know having fun in ultimate team so that's gonna be it and uh i guess like i said hopefully you guys give it a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next video guys all right i'm out later